first of all, thank you so much for coming here to talk about your your movie uh, Mangle of School. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very nice of you to to be present. And um, so we have like a few little question like to engage the the, the discussion about your movie. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I would like to ask you um, like a broad question: How how did you did you begin this movie? How did you did you find this? Mm -hmm. Uh, topics. I know, like you are like quite an interesting um, team, I would say, because you're a, you're a, uh, an academic, you're a, you're a filmmaker, if I'm if I'm right. So, how did you um, work together to engage this um, this movie, this topic? <laughs> Okay, I can start, okay. So, uh, this is a parallel thing. Uh, Philippe and I, we've been working on the liberation movements for quite some years, and we start almost at the same time. She in the, in the area of uh, militant cinema, and I in what came to be the area of militant education. And we've been developing a friendship since uh, 10 years, and the film is a result, or the conversations of the film are a result of these 10 years of exchanging uh, information and exchanging uh, practices. Just, this is just the general overview. For, the, for this film itself, it's like the second um, film that we do uh, together. And they were both uh, were commissioned by the, um, Tom Ollert and for the exhibition um, Education, Education shock, <laughs> um, and this um, the the mangrove school as the second film emerged from this commission, and we are talking about what kind of uh, presentation can we do, or what kind of new topic or conversation we want to develop in this inside this topic of education shock, and it was at kitchen table that we are exchanging ideas that I shared with Philippa that during my uh, research on the militant education, there were some schools, schools were located in the forests, but there was one specific that was located, um, or some specific, because we don't know how many were located in the mangroves. In, in the mangrove. Uh, so from this uh, sharing, we start to develop the, the project or the concept of the film. Yeah, I mean, um, actually, um, I read it in your book because um, Sonia wrote from her um, dissertation, she made a PhD on edu militant education of the PAGC, of the uh, liberation movement in Guinea-Bissau. And when I was reading her book, because um, when she it was published, I think, a couple of years ago. 2019. 2019. Um, there was this quote by um, Marcelino Mutna with a drawing. And I was very much, what is this? And um, uh, where he talks, it's, it's actually the, 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 this quote is actually in the end of the film. Or um, in the end of the film is a little excerpt of this quote mm -hmm. where Marcelino Mutna is saying, I, we were not, we were not only... T uh, learning in the jungle, we are also learning in the mangroves. And and, um, and then in the end, he says this beautiful thing. Now we have to get out of the of the of the of the dirt, um, uh, and but keep the hand inside to build better, you know, to build. So it's this idea of like we have to get out of the jungle, but we have to keep the hand inside. So this was a very beautiful quote. Um, and I I was always fascinated by the imaginaries of the mangrove because I have been traveling to, to Guinea for the past 10 years through through the project uh, that um, Sonia mentioned on the research on the militant cinema. So we have been, you know, um, digitizing the, the archive, working with the filmmakers, uh, the militant filmmakers, Sananada and Flora Gomes, um, and and trying to understand what this material can, uh, how how does it can activate um, the imaginary of that time today and still be useful to think the world. Um, so for us, uh, in that in this kind of permanent di dialogue that we are having, I mean, we have been always also like sharing material and like sometimes I was like, look, I found. 
we found in the archive this uh, the schools uh, in Conakry that the PhD built, and then I, I will pass it to Sonia, or Sonia would say, I found this document about uh, a film that you have, for example, on the on the on the on the. Uh, Education. And education, but also I was I was thinking uh, of this um, the week of information. You know, mm -hmm. so this was really like a beautiful like exchange of to people that I mean we both didn't live in that time, but we are fascinated from different perspectives and different positions about the same kind of event and struggle, and and um, and so this was. An, and I've been always fascinated by the mangroves because the mangroves is, are this rhizomatic um, plant that actually uh, are philosophically are uh, uh, an image of that produces image of connection and um, and 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 uh, that goes in all directions and it's protective. It's also a place of yeah of uh, of um, protection and and also. Um, produce places for hiding and so on. So it's it's an imaginary that I was always very interested. So suddenly there was this connection that we had both interest in, and and um, yeah, okay. so the, the beginning. Okay, okay. Um. Uh, so in in this like long uh, research process, uh, how did you how did you meet the community that you that you film? Is uh, are they like people that you know for uh, for a long time on? Um, on people that you you work uh, you work with uh, for a long time. Yeah? I think I'll let you answer that because you are. I answer this one too. I mean, this is the community of uh, w one of these filmmakers we work with. That is Sana Nahada, and it's this place is also uh, the place where we built um, a, a community center for arts and uh, culture and education. Um, and in that time, when we were and the shooting, I mean, and this maybe you can continue. Mm -hmm. Basically, w the shooting came out of a workshop, over ser several workshops we were doing, uh, one on architecture uh, and ar architecture also in the in the times of the struggle and archite traditional architecture and also like to think about what kind of building we want to create for the for this space. And then, and then maybe, and then one workshop on militant education that Sonia led, uh, that actually then led to the to the to the to the film to the to the shooting. Mm -hmm. But maybe you, you, Sonia can add on that. Yeah. So during during uh, the workshop with, uh, I brought some material that I had collected from my research all over, um, like from Portugal, from Sweden. Uh, and 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 so on. So I brought a, a couple of of pictures and also like the school manual, the original school manual that I had from the schools on the on this time. And we were uh, all, the community were all seated. And in the, this community, we had like three generations seated on the, uh, at the, in the same place. You have the generation who participate in the struggle, you have the, genera the, the descendants of, of this generation and the grandkids of this, of the first generation, so to say. Uh, so it is, uh, it was a conversation and Within this conversation, like showing the pictures, imagining the pictures, there is a there was a kind of uh, a, a memory that came to life and a kind of sharing, um, and also sharing the, the. There were some images that we like. Images aren't in the archives, and most of them they are just located. Like this photo is from Guinea Bissau, the year and so on. But you never know who are in these pictures, and during this workshop by the elders who participate in the struggle, they could recognize mm -hmm. the, the, the people, they could say what they're doing now, if they were still alive, if they were already passed away. Uh, the school manual, for example, there was another image uh, and they could, uh, of, of one of the, 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 the fighters, and they could, uh, and in the school manual, there is no reference about this person. It's just the image and they could actually say like, who is this person and where is this person now? So this uh, and bringing the history of the mangroves, uh, and because we are not so far from a mangrove, um, then it starts to emerge like conversations around education and conversations also about their time in the struggle and conversations about the the, the mangrove, uh, where it is, what is used for, or what ca uh, 
who goes there, who lives there, or how is important for the the rice fields, uh, or how it was important. It has a place of hiding f uh, during the liberation struggle for you to go see your family, uh, or to bring uh, like the to cross the river. Uh, and to bring uh, ammunition and so on. So these were all information that was that came out of this of this workshop, that then led to to the scouting, like to see where the the film was going to be made, which was not even an idea of making something like the end result. We had a more simplistic idea. But it was from this workshop that the community, in, uh, who was already involved, uh, as Philippa said, in the in the workshops and so on, decided or took the initiative to to lead us or to do the film together with us. So the building, the finding the place, the building of the school, the the conversations, the 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 whole environment of of uh, going there and being there dur during the the day to to do it. So it was a three a three year three weeks uh, staying in the Tabanka Malafu, and one week was dedicated to the shooting of the film. I mean, I could I could add to that uh, very little because um, Sonia was, um, but the. I mean, one of the the things that that Sonia mentioned, but I wanted to underline is this aspect that uh, the film was created in the process uh, because the, the wanting to make a mangrove school became really a school itself <laughs> for everybody, for us mainly. For us, so mainly. we were actually the ones that were the the first peoples that were because we maybe we were the most ignorant in that place. And and we we use also to say that we learn how to. Sonia actually um, actually articulated this for the first time. This idea, the first thing that we learned was actually to, how to walk, mm -hmm. to walk on in the in the rice field, walking in in the mangrove. That is something that you are not used to. You you can't have shoes. You have to use your feet, and you have to use your feet differently. So it was also a learning with the body, like mm -hmm. le learning about our the capacities of our own body, and also like the. The fact that um, being in that place and and how uh, things were starting to 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 er you know to emerge from from that kind of inhabiting that place, you know the fact that you you know like I remember being there and trying to find the where a trunk you know when it started from where it started and it started from a trunk and then it goes as a becomes a root and it's a trunk again and you're like really confused how you know how the mechanism of the mangrove is actually this connectivity and at the same time um, everybody was finding something that they wanted to share you know mm -hmm. so it became really a school even if the, you know th our first idea was okay, we have to do a film, but we want to do something very abstract, making some film images of the mangrove mm -hmm. with some sound, with some some voices. But then the you know the mangrove school was being created, you know, because mm -hmm. we don't have any pictures of a mangrove school. We only have one testimony from one person that was not even in the workshop. Mm -hmm. He was just like we interviewed him, this person actually after. And Sonny interviewed him like many years ago. Uh, so in a way, the the this mangrove school is also um, a fiction. I mean, it's a fiction, but it's also like uh, a proposition of another way of learning. You know, this is this is a little bit more. Is how can we take things from the past and c connect them with imagine with imagination mm -hmm. and with the with an experiment, a collective experiment. Uh, that, and then put it all together, and yeah, this is a little bit how the thing came about. So it's another an alternative form of uh, using history or using mm -hmm. memory. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, I was wondering uh, how did you balance um, like this reenactment parts, the reconstruction of the school that you shoot, like in. Uh, direct cinema and um, the use of other materials that I, I think like um, about like your um, uh, I think it's uh, it's film or maybe a super eight or super sixteen uh, images of uh, the trees uh, mm -hmm. the abstract images that you talked about um, on all the um, I would call it drawing but like images still images of uh, of uh, documents 
Mm-hmm. Um, so how did you how did you balance uh, in your like project on in the mm-hmm. editing all these different uh, media uh, mm-hmm. from different uh, origins? Mm-hmm. Talking about the some of the materials that appear in the in the, in the film, yeah. uh, you have you have two original books from this this period of time uh, that appear in the book. One is like this uh, book where you see is with a red cover, which is actually the the, the first book produced by the PIAGC uh, for the schools, and you see like the lady uh, or the hands of a person. Uh, weaving something on top of the book and the other material uh, the other book is the one where you see these math exercises Mm -hmm. uh, which was actually uh, some kind of we say like um, how 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 we call it a ble- well, let's say a blessing during the the research uh, that I've been looking for this 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 school manual for I don't know many uh, many years uh, nine or nine or ten uh, because I, we all, I always heard about it but never had the opportunity to see it and during um, after the shooting and we are back in Berlin and I we are preparing for to see the images that we have. And I continue to do my research, and Filippo continues to do, to do her research. And I finally find found during the this process of putting the, the scenes together, the school manual. Mm. Uh, and then, of course, we are so excited that we want to find a way to introduce uh, in the film. And one of the fi- one of the ways to 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 introduce is like to use like the the paper itself like uh, to scan and, and so you have like these brown images which are actually from from the school manual and then you have the math exercises which is like another way of thinking how can one how one learned uh, math during the liberation struggle and what kind of exercises mm-hmm. was uh, being uh, used in the in the in the school in the in the school class which also brings the idea of imagination how or or to think about education we are in this in this process in this process of armed struggle we have the students who are living under living and learning under these conditions so how is the how are we going to portray in our school manuals this reality in order to explain to them what this reality means in order to envision also what can come what we can build what we want to build after we achieve this independence so we wanted to show these materials in the in, in the film just to to so so the, the viewer can can also visualize the process of education and the process of decolonizing education uh, in loco during the liberation struggle. This is amazing also because what you said is really about this conscientialization, uh, like to be conscious, to be aware mm-hmm. through you know, like you're doing exercises that are operating the, the 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 elements of war, you know, the, the, the munitions and and what you actually see. So this is very much about this idea of like, don't give them something like grandfather uh, is watering the car, or you know, these kind of things that you, you see in books that go all over, but you are actually operating subjects that are have to do with your reality. Mm-hmm. Um, one one thing I wanted to add in, in terms of the different modes of material we have in the in the film so we have the what Sonia mentioned these objects uh, we have this um, uh, the voiceovers they are all f- resulted from the um, from two moments one from the workshop mm-hmm. like we we recorded mainly the the voices of the uh, of the of the of the people that were sharing so you can imagine these voices are in a place where there's a round of like 30 people in this in a uh, in a circle and listening so when we just took this sound and put it in the film or the, the conversation we had with um, Marceline Mutna and Ruina um, Nenjata uh, that are these two ag- agronomists that actually were in the struggle and and in these in these schools and um, the the other material is exactly from Ruina Nenjata the, the 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 drawings from uh, because he's, he's actually a uh, uh, an agronomist that is uh, focused on um, knowing how the you know f- has the knowledge of how the 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 rice in the mangroves in, in the mangroves worked and you know, like this what they call the mangrove rice 
uh, and all this like entanglement of this relation between the tides and 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 then the other material is the the two forms of the the, the way we were shooting we were there was exactly this kind of documentary what you call direct cinema mm -hmm. it's this kind of documentary of the building of the school you know like the uh, the cutting the, the the tying and and this is also something we didn't stage you know even this beautiful image of of uh, Nsai when she's paving the what they call the floor but it's actually on the water mm -hmm. uh, this long uh, scene in the beginning um, it's something that she decided that we have she wanted to, you know, she was kind of like coming in the end when the school was built and said, no, the, the kids have to go through it. Mm -hmm. So I, I need to make some more, I have to fix better this, this, this um, sticks t together. And uh, so this is the, the commentary part. And then there's all these like more stage things that we did, but normally they were almost like some ideas that Sonia and I had collected, but most of them, adjust to the situation and uh, and they are more like okay we wanted something that has to do with the with the idea of the hiding and then we we had this idea of like look that the kids have to look up and and then the the pencil falling i mean all these things they were staged mm -hmm. uh, with the, with the, with the group um and also the, the you know like uh, and and then there is this more and and this is like I I always like to because this this is the part that I shoot myself because the other images were shot by our director of photography Jenny Lou Siegel, but then I like very much this kind of I always like to shoot a little bit with sixty millimeter but for me it's more this kind of connection to the materiality mm. of the place, and that's I went there alone one day and I was doing this actually not alone with with Marino de Pina, that is uh, also an artist and and an architect. And and we shot this this sixty millimeter uh, more like close ups of um, of the mangrove and of the water. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we have some uh, question from uh, how to how to screen. I would say. <laughs> okay. Um, then um, uh, thank you so much for your invitation. I'm really really very pleased to be here. Uh, and to have this opportunity to talk with uh, Philippe and Sonia and Valentin as well about this film that I liked so much. Mangrove School <clears throat> is a fascinating film. It makes me think of uh, two books by the anthropologist uh, James C. Scott. The first one is seen like a state and the second one is the art of not being governed. And precisely one of the key ideas of um, seeing like a stack is how visibility is so crucial to the exercise of state domination. The, um, the Portuguese control from the air which allows them to uh, bomb, to bomb villages and uh, schools during the liberation war uh, exemplifies this uh, mechanism of uh, domination. But in the art of not being governed, Scott also shows how people succeed to resist this visual uh, domination through the art of dissimulation, through practices of mobility, uh, and of course, um, uh, to uh, vernacular uh, knowledge production. The, the fabulous rhizomatic um, network of roots and branches in the mangrove forest that we can immediately see and feel, as your movie is so much about feelings too, um, precisely creates a, a basis for dissimulation from uh, the eye of the colonizer. And at the same time, uh, it's very interesting because it's also the very material basis of the school itself as the students sit on uh, that um, interlacing network. And um, then we have a school uh, and so a learning that is not flat. Um, in your film, all these elements, um, all, all, all these elements open up a relationship between space, memory, uh, knowledge, resistance, 
um, liberating um, and militant uh, educational uh, uh, practices, poetics and politics, um, and uh, I, it's it's really very very rich and 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 innovative, and um, my question will be um, in a, in a in a previous interview you spoke about um, agronomical botanical notions uh, of the engineering engineering of the mangrove in your film how does this engineering uh, engage the relation um, between knowledge and power in the construction of um, um, an alternative school. One of my favorite uh, images of the film, of, of of the old film, is basically at, is at the end when Pedro, who was explaining this poem of Emilcar Cabral, which Pedro is actually a, a professor uh, or teacher at the, at the school uh, there, uh, and he explain he while he is explaining the 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 the, the poem. You have also this old background that you have the kids seated on the ta on on this on these tables, but then you have people behind him, which you uh, which are uh, um, yeah you you have uh, I, like you have I'm talking because I, I have exactly the image on my head and you have Nsai, uh seated and and writing what is it is on the board you have also uh christina also seated and and they are and actually are writing on cardboard uh with the leftovers of pencils that we had there and this is my favorite scene of the film because it's a kind of imagine how school how how open the school could be instead of being like in this very horizontal way or like you Or, or flat way, but you have people uh, on the trees, people on on these on these uh, branches that, uh, and on working on top of branches actually, and uh, and you have the the teacher who during the film you see like in and out of water, um, <laughs> so I think this 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 last scene uh, resumes more or less like how this mechanic of schooling uh, work uh, can be envisioned. Or can be perceived, especially because you have uh, several generations there learning and writing about a poem that was written in 1960s. Um, and uh, for me to 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 think about the the school is is more on this uh, how open it can be and how far we can go, especially because it's it's, it's it was not staged or part of this thing of the the scene was not staged. Uh, But it was more organic. Uh, imagine you are shooting the film, and then suddenly you look around and you see learning happen automatically, like without you being asked. You, nobody asked this uh, um, Nsai or Christina to sit behind and write on the cardboard. They simply took the initiative of doing that. Uh, so for me, it's like uh, this very organic part of the film when you see when you see the resume of our three weeks. Uh, in the um, in uh, Tabanka Malafu happening uh, in local, like right in front of us, without being asked, but by simply individual initiative. I want to be here, and I want to copy what they are, uh, what they wrote on the on on the board, and I use I will use this material. So you can actually see more or less, or imagine how it was also during the struggle to take these initiatives off. Doing, we are just going to do this, and we'll find a way. On, we'll find a way on the way to make it work. Yeah, I mean, I I, I would add to what you're saying. Um, exactly this. Um, you know this. The in a way the, the 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 transformation that Pedro makes because Pedro is was very engaged in the in the process and he's also as Sonia said he's a teacher Pedro Bedani he's also the son of uh, the elder that is telling the story that he was actually uh, hiding from the Portuguese and he was to see his family he was three days three days sleeping in the in the in the mangrove mm -hmm. so he's actually already there's already this transmission as well then from his from his father and then he you know and then there's there's this 
connections that we made through Pedro. So Pedro, in a way, embodies this connection to from nature. You know, he comes from the water, so he's, he's actually materializing the um, the you know the, the definition of mangrove mm. that is given in the in the in the Creole dictionary, where the mangrove. You know, it's the place where you can, if you if you fall in the water, you can save yourself by, by grabbing by, by grabbing the branch. This idea of grabbing, and also the connecting and being connected in with nature. You know, not making this distinction, and then, and then through his body and through the, his connection to, and, and not not separation, with with the nature. He also history goes also through him. He tells this place, and he is the one that chooses. Pedro is the one that chose. The place for us to build the school mm -hmm. is he explains this is Kian Nimbam. Kian Nimbam is the the whites entrance. This was the place where the the whites also entry uh, with the boats. So at the same time he doesn't. I mean it's a it's a hard and painful story, but he he want they keep it they keep it there. Mm -hmm. It that place is 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 history. History is embedded in that place in name, and how. Uh, and, and it's so interesting because today that places uh, the mangroves are com much closer than they were before, but because the Portuguese would open the rivers, and so but the, the place still has the name, uh, uh, and uh, and and there's no nothing, there's no, sign. there's no sign, you know, they know it, and it, it's chosen for this film, and and then he comes out of the water, and and then he's the he's the one that is transmitting. And in a way, for me, is this connection between how mo mo modernity and 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 animism can actually come back together, you know, and they don't need necessarily to be separated as the Western epistemology always wanted it to be. Uh, and and this is a little bit like how maybe this engineering that you are talking about, this engineering of the mangrove, or um, how um, how that place became this. Um, this connectivity place with, with all the differences and contradictions that you can mm. have there, you know, like from where we, our ignorance or uh, what we represent, for example. There's this moment that I love in the film, in this scene that you said, where Pedro is saying, is, is describing, first he's describing what is green, uh, and then green is, is for him, he, he says, is the forest, is the place where we hide. He says it very spontaneously. Mm -hmm. So how he, he he coded green, and then he, he talks about the hundred years, you know, the, the centuries of oppression, and and there's this moment where he hesitates when he's going to talk about the oppression of the of the Portuguese, and then I I see how he looks at me and some people like in that moment of hesitation say. I am going to say this in the people that actually could represent still today that mm -hmm. oppression. You know, the, you know the Portuguese people that were there. That actually was me. Uh, so and this hesitation, like looking around, and then he says it. So this is all part of it. You know, like it's places of where the conflict is there, and and it's not about hiding it or making it, it. It is there. It's part. You know, like and how can we? bring the conflict to the table and, and see what it does with the, and how can it transform us and mm -hmm. how can it connect us too and not only separate us. Um, we will return to the question of mangrove, but before I would like to uh, ask you, your film is built on the memories of the, of the Guinean uh, liberation struggle, but what we found here is not uh, remembering discourse, uh, but a practicing, a practicing, a practicing memory, and um, a kind of embodied memory, uh, or um, um, an enacted memory. And could you please tell us how you conceive memory in your film, and um, at what extent uh, your film is oral history? Um, yeah, we think about uh, oral history as this outside product, like you just go and ask mm -hmm. uh, for the memory of the person, but actually uh, the memory is um, it's not like something that you just recall, but you leave it, uh, actually. And in this process of our film, I think oral history is so present, not just because we have this uh, voice uh, voiceovers no. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the... Um, 
of, of the people who are remembering those times, but also is, is oral history in the sense that you have this transmission from different uh, ge generations. And it's not like you ask to be remembered, especially during, because these voices come from, uh, these recordings come from, from the workshop. It's like, what triggers the person to tell the story? And what triggered the person to tell the story is like maybe a picture, maybe an image, but also how do we embody it mm -hmm. on when you are telling? Because one thing is just to say the oral orality of it, but when you are interviewing or when you are um, remembering something, is a whole body and it comes, just, it's not just verbally, but it comes with the eyes, like Philippa was saying, like, let me look around. Um, it comes with the hands, we come with our, your posture, uh, so this is shown, or I think it's presented in our film, not just by the person who remember, but also by the ones who are listening. Mm. Okay. And I, I really like what um, Benedita was saying about this. Um, it, it, we are not um, telling history, we are practicing mm -hmm. uh, memory. We have this idea of practicing memory. I think I like it a lot because um, in a way, we we even if you look at our notes, you know, like the way we, the, our script is a, is a list of notes of things that we wanted to to connect with and create images for it. And um, and I think this this was also the idea: how can the, the the things that we know and don't know about the mangrove schools or about military education can inform. And can uh, and can be articulated in our bodies and the bodies of the people that are in that places. And I think this is a little bit what happens, you know, like the way, the memory, you know, like uh, this idea, like how uh, in that place, what what do you do with the things that are around, with the materials that are around, what with the with the with what is offered by nature, you know, like how and and uh, and you know, like the 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 palm tree leaves that were actually used to tie the wood mm -hmm. uh, suddenly. Are used by one by by Yaya to make a pipe, you know, like and he said, and then he said, like, I know I'm just doing this because the material was here that we were using. So suddenly, what was going to be used as a rope has another <laughs> become something else, and and then is the moment where he t totally spontaneous this thing. He said, like, Hey kids, do you know that this was actually how tobacco was being smoked by by the people in the struggle you know so suddenly there is a connection memory is being produced you mm -hmm. know uh, memory is being uh, practiced and not just told or mm -hmm. yeah. you know so the it, it is being made <laughs> you know like it's it's embodied in the in the objects and in the gestures yeah. mm -hmm. um simultaneously it's seen on so maybe we'll be practiced by young people with like messy football shorts <laughs> Uh, as well as are uh, talking about things that their father or more likely grandfathers and grandmothers were doing uh, in the middle of uh, an inaccessible forest uh, 40 years ago. So this um, this meeting of like so different worlds like crafting uh, exactly. and mm -hmm. modernization <laughs> is quite interesting, I think. So yeah, also the, 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 the image of, of, of Mutan when say they were sending us, you know, lightning bombs, mm -hmm. you know, to 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 kill us, basically. Mm -hmm. And we take the the balloons and make and tents. tents from it. You know, like and we tent make tents for, for to sleeping in. So we take your aggression, your violence, and you make something for you know to to to, to for Where our now. dreams <laughs> can can can, can we can, can lay our bed our heads in order to you know like in the in the in the in the materiality of your violence we can make a bed to yeah. sleep and dream mm -hmm. so i think this is all this kind of how can you transform this you know like how can you learn and yeah okay so very quickly wh what's the final song uh, about the final song <laughs> I actually don't know the meaning of the word. Doesn't have. Uh, doesn't, have doesn't have one. It's yeah, just a it's, I think it's a it's a, it's a, 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 a kid song, mm -hmm. like you know, like the songs that when you're a kid you just invent and then it becomes like create a rhythm. But the the part that I like more about that song 
it's like or the parts that I like more. And it's also connected with the film. It's like when they say like, just go down. Uh, every name of the kids, just go down, just go down, go down. And then you wash your feet and then it's like, now rise, rise up, which is connected with uh, the last sentence in the film of Marcelino Mutna. Like we have now to get out of the mangroves, but leave our hands there, which if I think, is, this is just a thought that I'm doing now. <laughs> that is like when you put it together, it's like rise up. It's like, and if you, because you are in the spirit of liberation struggle, of armed struggle, where you are, you have all this oppression coming out, ca coming to you, like being directed at you, then you have at the end of the song, like rise up, each one of you rise up. It's like, it symbolizes a lot. Uh, and actually it's one, the uprising, uh, the uprising exactly. Yeah. Like go down. There is a process of like just pressing, pressing, pressing down. Then it's like, no, like rise up now. It's your time to rise up. And each one, each one of them just start to rise. And it's just like, yeah, you really start to understand how can you envision the future? You have to rise yeah. up instead of just, if somebody says to go down, you also had the possibility to rise up. And find then, a way to yeah and then keep your hand to and keep, keep your hand. you know like keep uh, <laughs> humility you know, mm -hmm. like humbleness yeah stay humble stay connected to the ground but rise up but you know mm -hmm. yeah this is beautiful okay. thank you for thank <laughs> you <laughs> my pleasure thank you so much for coming here on the for sharing your thoughts on process on research process on filming process thank uh, you for having us <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs>